Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is me again with another recipe. Um, last night was Friday night, so we decided to do something a little bit special, but also something that won't take too long. So in celebration of the beginning of the weekend, we decided to do some uh, traditional mashed potatoes with nicely seared skin, uh, chicken um, and some um, mushroom sauce. I've tried to do a slightly healthier version of mushroom sauce because on a Friday night, I didn't want to um, have a lot of cream and milk. Um, I just wanted to have a healthy finish um, to the week um, so nicely seared chicken mashed potatoes and some chicken um, some uh, mushroom sauce um, I started with our chicken thighs with skin on now this recipe can also be done with chicken breast but I guess why would you use chicken breast if you can have if you can use our chicken thigh like chicken thigh is a lot more juicier than the breast um, but feel free to go ahead with uh, chicken breast if that's what you prefer um, so I'm, I'm just seasoning uh, the chicken thighs with skin on um, you can have uh, you can use chicken thighs without the skin as well um, but I just prefer with skin because it just gives so much flavor um, so it's just a, a little bit of salt black pepper and some chicken stock like chicken powder um, on make sure it just goes on both sides um, of the chicken so it's not too bland uh, when it's cooked um, so nicely season it with salt and pepper um, and make sure to put some chicken powder um, on both sides as well so it um, it, it's it, it it ends up tasting really nice with only these three things um, so once it's properly seasoned I've left it aside for 20 minutes you really don't have to but I had to do some preparation for the mashed potatoes so I just took that opportunity to leave uh, the chicken um, to marinate um, now these are brushed potatoes um, I'm just giving them a very nice clean uh, because they do have um, a lot of dirt on them so once I'll um, clean them nicely um, I'll just cut them in halves because it'll just be so much easier um, to cook them when they are cut in halves um, I also took the opportunity to fill up the kettle and leave it on um, so I can use the boiled water um, to cook my potatoes um, simply because I didn't want to wait too long um, to boil the water on the pan um, now the pan goes up and the hot water from the kettle goes in and our potatoes with skin on um, cut in half go into the pan. Now this will just make it easier for me while I cook uh, my chicken and my mushroom sauce. My potatoes will just cook on the side. So I've left that on the other stove. Um, now this is some olive oil um, and a little bit of uh, butter. Um, I've used about, um, you could say two, two tablespoons of olive oil and about um, two tablespoons of butter as well olive oil is there just uh, so the butter doesn't burn otherwise uh, butter burns on high heat um, now my stove is on uh, quite high heat because I want to see the chicken uh, really nicely I want to give it that nice brown crispy um, texture that's four of the chicken thighs um, the skin side um, onto the pan um, now I just let it cook for about like five minutes um, uh, if, if not less than that like it really depends on you know, what sort of pan you're using and um, what sort of so stove you have it took me about five minutes to give it that sort of color um, once I get that color I just um, flip it on the flip it on the to the other side to start searing the other side I'm looking for um, similar kind of color on the other side as well so I uh, flipped it about twice just to get a very nice um, texture and color um, on the skin um, at this stage uh, chicken um, will be uncooked uh, um, it's just I'm just trying to get very nice um, texture um, it will simmer in the sauce later on so I'm not worried about it being uncooked um, at this stage just focusing on getting very nice texture um, and now that's the perfect uh, that's exactly how I want um, it to be it looks beautiful and trust me it just tastes really nice as well and the skin uh, just does the wonders and the, ch the choice of the thighs over breast um, it really does wonders as well uh, so now here I'm just showing you the other side of it as well 
just to give you an idea what sort of color um, and texture we are chasing uh, with these chicken thighs. Uh, now once this is cooked, um, we'll just uh, take it out and uh, put it aside. Um, I just uh, when I put it in a plate I just made sure that I um, covered the plate with aluminium foil while I cook the sauce uh, what that does is um, is that the chicken continues to cook while I'm doing other things so while I've got my potatoes on one stove I'll be preparing my uh, sauce on the other sauce um, if I cover this with aluminium foil it'll just be cooking um, while it's resting um, as well so that that just makes my life a lot easier as well so I don't have to simmer it for too long um, in the sauce as well um, now I'm just uh, like chopped very uh, uh, diced to the the onions very nicely um, I, I don't want to have really big chunks here because I just want the onion to uh, mix in the sauce um, these are the leftovers olive oil and butter that we use to cook the chicken in uh, just make sure that you use the same oil and um, because it has the juices from the chicken and it just makes the sauce so much um, uh, taste taste it's tasting so much better um, I got some cut and cut uh, brown mushrooms I'm using brown mushrooms you could uh, use white mushrooms or whatever mushrooms you prefer um, I prefer the color and the texture and the flavor of um, brown mushrooms um, I've used about a cup a cup and a half of mushroom I'll give you the ingredients in the description and I'll also write them down here for your AEs um, so you just saute the uh, mushrooms once the um, onion is nicely sauteed uh, you put some garlic in there or garlic flakes whatever you prefer and once that's all sauteed you put um, about a cup of uh, thickened cream um, now usually a lot more cream goes into it but I'm um, trying to I'm good what I'm, I'm gonna do half half I'm gonna put half um, um, thickened cream and then about half a cup of uh, uh, milk and then instead of reducing it I'm just gonna do something um, else quickly uh, which I'll show you later that will make it a lot more a lot more healthier and also not too heavy on, on my on the stomach as well um, now once that's nicely simmered um, uh, we just uh, uh, before seasoning it we just put some um, oregano in there I'm using about one and a half teaspoon um, of oregano oregano in there um, and one now obviously I have to season this sauce as well so um, some salt goes in there and some pepper goes in there now I will along the way uh, taste it and see if I need to add some more salt and pepper so just add salt and pepper to your taste um, I will also put uh, about a teaspoon and a half um, actually a bit more than that of, of chicken powder um, I end up using half a teaspoon later on as well so about two teaspoons of chicken powder in there to give it a very nice uh, it gives chicken powder give gives you really nice flavor you can use fresh uh, stock if that's what you prefer um, but I didn't have it um, um, I didn't have the fresh stock and also I, I, I really like the flavor of chicken powder um, I'll put some fresh parsley in there uh, and I'm basically just gonna cook it um, for a little bit um, until it's ready um, I will along the way uh, continue to check um, salt and pepper so I've just added uh, a bit more bit of chicken powder as you can see uh, because I thought the flavors were a bit low so um, in total I put two teaspoons of chicken powder and salt and pepper to taste. Once that's nicely seasoned I'm just going to add uh, the chicken that I cooked earlier or the chicken that I seared earlier um, and leave it in the sauce uh, for a little bit to simmer. Um, now the chicken goes in one by one um, you have to be a bit gentle with the chicken because you don't want to uh, de you don't want to ruin um, the chicken but the chicken was not too delicate because obviously it's not cooked fully um, as yet make sure to put all those juices back in there there's a lot of flavor in those juices um, now the chicken will be quite soft because it was uh, I, I let it rest um, and I left the aluminum foil on it as well so it will be like you know 80% cooked um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it um, um, soak into the sauce so it just picks up all those nice flavors um, and leave the lid on um, for a little bit and leave it to simmer now that's after about 10 minutes um, of leaving it on low heat um, 
I'm just going to let that chicken uh, resting for a little bit while I prepare the mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, butter, some more butter. Um, I put about uh, two tablespoons of butter in there. You can put more, usually a bit more goes in there. Uh, but I didn't want to eat too much butter late in the night. Um, I'm seasoning it very well with a lot of salt. No pepper goes in there because it just leaves that black color. Um, these are chives. I put some chives in there. Chives give really nice um, flavor, like really nice oniony flavor. Um, I put quite a fair, quite, quite a bit of chives in there because I love uh, the flavor that it gives. Um, seasoned it a bit more. Um, I just felt it was a bit, uh, the salt wasn't enough. So once um, it's mixed properly, um, mashed potatoes are really nice. Uh, mashed potato potatoes are almost ready. Um, now all I'm going to do is instead of reducing the sauce um, or like you know having to have put a lot of cream in the beginning, um, I've just put about uh, one tablespoon of flour, just plain flour and mix it in water and put that uh, mixture um, in the sauce on low heat and uh, cook uh, cook the sauce with that um, mixture of water and flour. Um, this is a nice trick to reduce the sauce very quickly um, and also like it, it makes it quite healthy. Um, as well because otherwise you just have to use a lot of cream um, now uh, once uh, the flour and water goes in there okay never put flour straight in there because it just leaves lumps so you just have to make sure you uh, mix flour with water um, and then let it simmer for a little bit um, and it'll give you the nice consistency that you're after you could cook it more or just put more of it if you like to make it thicker um, now I'm just ready basically ready to serve it I've got mashed potatoes on the plate then I just stacked the chicken very nicely. Um, now this is without um the sauce um, and after I took a few pictures I just put the sauce on there as well um, if you really enjoyed um, our dinner it, it's it was a nice and simple recipe nothing too complicated I just had to make sure that my potatoes were um, cooking on the side while I was preparing the chicken um, and that my sauce was was cooking while my uh, chicken was resting I just had to be switched on <laughs> all the time to make sure that I can quickly put this recipe together um, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe um, I have thought of um, starting doing these recipes in Urdu as well because I feel like um, a lot of people in Pakistan might feel a bit more comfortable with recipes in Urdu so um, I will be posting the same recipe in Urdu as well um, so please um, watch that one um, as well and let me know what you guys think um, so once again thank you very much for spending this time with me I really appreciate your time um, um, I'm going to um, go and get ready to get some sleep uh, and inshallah I'll see you guys later. You guys take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum.